Hey, I'm Dorian, joined by my wife and celebrity menswear stylist, Ashley Weston. Hey guys. Today, we got a great viewer question, so we're gonna go through it, but before we do that, if you are not following us on Instagram, you're missing out on daily outfit inspiration photos and include accessories, details, all the links to all the products, and if you've got questions. We are answering them just like this one today via text or email. The instructions are on the screen. Let's get into it. So this fine gentleman wanted to know, Dorian Ashley, is this too much sock showing out of my loafers? And we are answering that question, but we're gonna give him some feedback as well to help him make his general outfit look that much better. Let's get into it. Okay, so first off, to answer your question, yes, there is way too much sock showing. If Boat you are sock. going to be wearing a sock with your loafer, but the intention is to have like a no-show sock, then you should not see the sock mm. at all with your loafer. No way it looks so sloppy that way so instead you want to go for a no-show sock that shows no sock whatsoever would you say the no-show sock should be no showing from <laughs> yes. the sock from the yeah. shoes it's, so it's a bad look right you'll now. see the picture that's the type of no-show sock that will work for loafers it's very minimal what he's wearing is really close to an ankle sock basically so that is going to be as you're seeing on the screen now that is visible everywhere on these shoes and that's what it doesn't look good. He tried and it looks like to use like a gray sock to try and like kind of hide it a little bit. So A for effort, but Reserve, F for I, execution. Yeah, I would say reserve that sock for your sneakers. Your yeah, sneakers yeah. will cover that entire top part of your foot exactly. so you won't see it. 100%, that's when those socks are most useful if you're going for the no sock look with sneakers. Now Ash, let's talk about his outfit. I think he got the broad strokes right. Yes. Almost across the board. It looks like he's been a fan and I'm sure he will comment <laughs> down below. It looks like he's been a fan for a while and he's gotten all the major points 100% right. Yes, you got a linen shirt, the woven braided leather Brown belt, belt yep, yep. the navy chinos and the loafers. So you've got those elements right. However, now let's drill down into the details of this and why if you change a couple things, it can make this outfit just absolutely exceptional. And I think it's important to note, Ash, that guys, if you've been a follower of ours for a long time or for a little while, you know that is the details are what make or break an outfit. Always, always, always. Again, he got the broad strokes right, but if you'll notice, it just isn't quite there yet. And that's literally that extra 15 to 20% that really makes a difference. And so let's talk about all those little items. So maybe you guys can learn a little something from this too. Starting with the linen shirt, you can tell right in the stomach area how tight this shirt is. And what that's doing is actually spotlighting the fact that, you know, you're carrying a little bit of extra weight in your stomach region. Now, you should ideally be able to pinch on either side of your stomach about, I would say like one to two inches max of excess fabric. Any less than the one inch, it's, it's now getting into the territory of skin tight. Now, I know because I see this question via text and email a lot, guys that have bellies like this go, well, see, this is why I should never tuck in my shirt. No, absolutely not. It, you know, tucking in your shirt is not gonna spotlight your stomach as much like as you really think it's going to. It, it, it's really, that's not what is the issue here. The problem is that it's too tight. Is it's, that the issue? Yes, you can see it in the buttons. The buttons are pulling, like the fabric is pulling out the buttons and that's what you don't want to ever have. So you definitely need to size up to avoid that issue. Now, guys, before you say in the audience, well, look at all those wrinkles on the shirt. That is a linen shirt. Yeah. Welcome to Wrinkleville. That's just how Wrinkle. it is. That's just part of the exactly. look. There's nothing you could do about it. I mean, you could steam it out originally, but then as you wear it, it's gonna get wrinkled, yeah, especially in the arms area like it it's is. Fine. It's just naturally how it's gonna be. That's perfectly acceptable. So moving on to the woven belt. So because of this woven belt, the leather is stiff. You could tell, yeah, it's stiff. Yeah, you could tell it's stiff. The belt actually looks too long. You could just tell with the tail how it's sticking out. Straight out, by the way, and it's kind of looking like it's curving around his hip a little bit. What you want 
is for the tail to actually lie flat against your waistband and kind of just like tucked into the your belt loop. That's how it should look. Anything that doesn't tuck past, so that is just kind of like stuck out, looks really off. So moving down towards the navy chinos. So color is perfect. The fit, I mean, it's a nice slim leg. However, I do have an issue with the length of these chinos, especially when you're pairing it with loafers. Now, when you do wear loafers, it's really important to make sure the hem of your pant is it pretty much should have no break but if you want a slight break because you want the option to be able to wear your chinos with say sneakers then what you can do is actually cuff your chinos so that it's slightly shorter and will show off the loafer and as far as the loafers go fantastic color and as well as design Really love it, and I love that it complements the shade of your belt color. Always an A plus. Like we, that's a requirement that we like cannot stress enough. You want to make sure the shade, basically the color of your belt, should match pretty damn closely the color of your shoes. It's just I think that those no-show socks are really making it look wide and weird. I'd say that will look significantly better without those. So definitely. Buddy, if you got a better picture after taking this advice, send it in and we'll do an update. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.